I actually want to share experience that uh, I was privileged to have with President Monson. So President Monson, he actually came to visit my country, communist Czechoslovakia. And uh, he had a little two and a half hours overlay in Prague. And of course, I don't know all the details, how the leadership in my country worked things out, but I do know that we knew that President Monson will be coming. And so we gathered in a, a house of one of the members. And of course, it was marvelous to, to meet a prophet, to meet someone that I only heard about and knew that he existed, I knew his name. He had really a remarkable you know, prophecy to us Czech saints. He told us, I know that the spiritual freedom is going to come to your country. And our, our jaws dropped because it was still in the darkness of communism. And he just says, I want you to do one thing. I want you to fast every third Sunday each month and pray for the freedom of religion in your country and the freedom will come. And of course, after the meeting, we were all just totally blown away by you know, something like that, that we would not expect that you know, he would say. And sure enough, within a few years, there was a Berlin Wall that came down and after that, it was kind of like a domino effect in Eastern Europe when in Czech Republic, we experienced what was called Velvet Revolution. And sure enough, Velvet Revolution brought a new government, free government, better president, wonderful president, and especially the freedom of religion. So it was really amazing for me just kind of to listen to what Ben, you said about him, because he actually almost was like an Eben and I. You know, he was the one who traveled through Eastern Europe. He was the one who that time took a chance to actually, you know, enter a place that was really dangerous for him. And he did it. And he did just kind of prophesy something that happened. And uh, it's remarkable just kind of to know that we can draw the connection between actually Abenadi and even today's current prophets.